Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are at game number two between Low Sierra and Grubby. This time we are on the map GSL Daybreak. Grubby, our blue Protoss player, spawning in the upper right hand spawn location. And then down over here in the lower left hand position, we have got Low Sierra as our red Zerg player. So Grubby ends up winning last game. And a quick a little recap. Uh, early on, we saw a Forge Fast expand from Grubby. Now, Locira faked an expansion and instead pushed with some early Roach aggression coupled with a few Speedlings. With that, he was able to kill off Grubby's Cybernex Core, busted in the natural expansion, and do a bit of economic damage. He killed off a few workers um, at the natural, was also able to delay mining for quite a bit, and again, he did kill off that Cyber Core. Locira then responded with some Warp Prism Harass, which didn't do too much damage, but he went straight up into Colossus, re-got his Cybernex Core, which allowed him to work up to Warp Gate Research, and then pushed out for a counterattack. And with those Colossus, he was able to do pretty significant damage. Now, Locira tried a Speedling counterattack, and I want to talk about that for a moment. With it, he was able to do a bit of damage and, you know, of course, disrupt Grubby's economy. Uh, yeah, he was able to disrupt Grubby's economy and do a bit of damage. My concern is that had he used those speedlings, because he had a quite, quite a large amount of speedlings that he hit Grubby with, had he used those speedlings to hit Grubby in the center of the map with his speedlings and mutas, I think he probably could have overwhelmed Grubby's forces. Now at the same time, then, he wouldn't have done any economic damage and Grubby would have continued to mine as he was, you know, just going along his normal day. But still... I'm a little concerned there because I do think that had Locera used his forces instead of counterattacking to defeat Grubby in the center of the map, then maybe that wouldn't have been a loss at least so early for him. I don't know though because again he wouldn't have done any damage either. And uh, look at this, Locera getting disrupted by Grubby at the natural, fakes a hatchery down here and then sneaks another drone to his expansion with which he's able to just drop his hatchery in his normal position. Now he could be planning to go for another one as well, and Leia looks like he will be. We're gonna see uh, Grubby pull back and be like, oh, I was duped <laughs> as the hatchery was dropped at the natural. How frustrating, and the drone makes his way back up into the main. <laughs> that is an absolute riot, yes it is. Back over here, Grubby does have his forge gateway and nexus coming on through at the natural expansion. Probe just making sure a quick third is in fact not happening. Zerglings will be checking for a pylon or that sneaky probe hiding around over there, anything like that. Locera with the Overlord moving in, getting some scouts. So yeah, last game was pretty interesting. Unfortunate loss there for Locera. I'm not saying that his uh, counterattack with Speedlings was a bad idea. I'm just saying that I don't think he would have lost right that second had he used those Speedlings to try to take out the Colossus and the Stalker that were, was hitting him. Yeah, there you have it. There you have it indeed. No metabolic boost for quite a while here as Locera still has no extractor. He has opted instead to go for the quick third over here in response to the Forge Fast Expand of Grubby. Locera also just chilling out so confidently there with his Overlord as he realizes there won't be any anti-air for quite a while here from Mr. Grubby, and Grubby is uh, heading back home there with the probe. I think, is there space over here actually? I don't know. I do not know that there is. So I think he'll just be chilling out by the cannon trying to save this worker here. And yeah, that's it. Yeah, he can't make it back in. There's no way. So he's going to be keeping this probe out here for quite a while. Probably trying to sneak him back in for some secondary scouting in a couple moments. Locera still just droning up again with this quick third. He does, of course, want to get as many minerals early on as possible so that he can get some nice saturation at all three of his bases. Should also be seeing another queen in production sometime soon. That would be nice, huh? Lucira drops another queen so they can transfer that right on over, but that may not be happening, it seems. Ling's moving across the map. The Zealot will be scouting that, trying to chase him down, and as soon as he leaves, another Ling grabs the tower. Let's get this Ling over here with the, the, that tower. Forced back from the cannon. Zealot gets the final kill and blow there. Small little victory early on for Grubby. Speaking of Grubby, let's see what he's doing. We got a pylon down over here. Do have a robotics facility coming out. Level 1 weapons upgrade also coming through. Should probably be seeing a few more gateways in a couple of minutes here from Mr. Grubby. Gonna be seeing another pylon over here. Are we? Be careful. Here comes a Ling. Ling's gonna scout it. Ling scouts it. Should force the cancel there. I don't know if Grubby's gonna really try to keep that. He could though, I suppose. 
I'm concerned that he's not going to be hitting anytime soon because there are no gateways to be seen except for that one at the frontal wall off. And there goes the secondary scout moving up and spotting Losiris third. But again, right now, Grubby is not in a position to push at all. Won't be doing any damage, really significant damage anytime soon. Finally coming out with a few more gateways. Warp gate research very near finished here. And the scout out over there. Also, tower control going to Grubby at the moment. With stalkers and zealots controlling the center of the map. Finally coming out with that Vespine. No metabolic boost that is just starting right now. He's coming out with a few roaches as well. As he did grab that roach horn. Six roaches, nine lings in play at the moment. A few more roaches coming out. Got these three gates coming through. There's a fourth somewhere. There it is. Level one weapons almost done. Now we did see that war prism. Make sure I don't miss that, huh? There it goes. War prism moving out right now for Grubby. Lots of overlords. This is going to allow Losira to see when that war prism tries to push in the backside. Uh, Losira will be fully aware of that. Roaches and Lings moving across the map right now, trying to regain map control, and he's uh, able to do that pretty successfully over here. Grubby's going to get a couple units up in that war prism before he moves out with his drop. Creep spread going down here for Losira. Gotta love seeing that. We do have uh, Evolution Chamber now finished. Should be able to start some of those upgrades in one moment. Also getting some anti-air with these spore crawlers. Anti-air as well as cloak detection. Here comes that first war prism filled up with sentries. Losira has pulled back with all of his forces. Now again with the overlords able to spot this. So now he knows that Grubby is coming. And let's see how he is able to respond. He, he is fully aware of this. He best respond. There we go. Roach is coming down. And that should really stop Grubby from doing too much damage here. Now we got some forces pushing from the front. And uh, is he just going to go for a frontal assault? Oh, snap. That hurts. Force fields of Roaches and the Spielings into the main. And is he going to keep that up? Ouch. 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 This is very painful right now for Losira as a bulk of his forces in the main to defend against that War Prism Harass that was threatening to hit. And now he's got nothing to defend his natural expansion, losing so many workers. How impressive is that? Grubby psyching Losira out is now able to do so much damage. We've got a ton of zealots coming through. And can he keep this up any longer? Yeah, he can. He's got a few more force fields left here. And really nothing that Losira can do about that at all. Nothing. He has now lost 17 workers as a result. We're going to see a few zealots push on down. That's enough to be a major threat down there. And he can continue up these force fields. It drops the Roach Horn. We got a nice network coming out in another Roach Horn building, but this expansion is gone. This expansion is probably going to be uh, gone in just another minute. Unbelievable. Grubby. Very, very nice. And that is infuriating for Losira. No question about that. Not enough energy right now in his sentries to drop into more force fields. I'm finally allowing the speedlings and roaches to push out. By the time they left the base, Grubby has plenty of forces. And drops another force field as all those roaches and speedlings are still over there. Zealots over here busting through the queen. Now going to start doing some more damage. Unbelievable. Oh man, Grubby. I am super impressed, I must say. Grubby now feeling confident to push right into the main base here. We've got some counter aggression planned for Los Ceres. He's got an ice worm coming up over here. Uh, pulling down with all of his workers. He's already lost so many. 22, 23. The number keeps climbing. Let's see what this counter aggression is going to be with. Anything? He's got nothing in here. Los Sierra calls the GG. Wow. Grubby, hats off to you, my friend. That was impressive. Game number two goes to Grubby, and as such, so does the series. Grubby wins the series two games to O against Losira with a very impressive psych out, forcing Losira to prepare to deal with a drop in his main from that war prism. He moves up with the Spielings and Roaches. Grubby then moves to the natural expansion and continuously force fields pretty much everything Losira had at that point in the game inside of his main, allowing him to do tremendous amounts of damage here at the natural as well as at the third, and as such, seal the victory. Now, we did see Losira attempt to do a Nidus counterattack, however, that did not end up working at all, as by the time that even came through, Grubby had already won the game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed this series. As always, if you like the content, please subscribe. Thanks again, guys. Keep watching and keep owning. I am so impressed, Grubby. GG.